All right, all right, we have to discuss this. So, XYZ in Minecraft. You may have heard it before, but you may be new to it, and you might want to know what does XYZ mean. So let's answer that question. Here in Minecraft, we are in a three-dimensional plane, right? Often we think of it as two-dimensional, though, because a lot of it's flat, and it's like we're being pulled down by gravity, right? Well, you've been in math class, right, and you've had to do graphs, math on graphs, and you have to do XYZ there. Same thing's going on here, okay? This is a graph or a plane. And the X, the Y, and the Z are talking about different directions within Minecraft. And you use it to use coordinates or to find, you know, coordinates or, you know, distances between those, right? So hit F3 on your keyboard. That brings up this crazy interface with a bunch of information, right? Now, what we're doing is we're looking over here. See, it says X, Y, Z. Okay. The first one is your X, the second one is your Y, and the third one is your Z. And these are different directions, okay? Now, if we look, let's see, I want to make sure we're looking north. Okay, right here it says facing north. Okay, we're facing north. And now if I start moving forward, you can see that my coordinates are adjusting. So north to south is your Z axis. East, you know, or west to east west east that is your x axis and then y is your up and down see how my y is changing so if you start digging ground into the ground your y starts to go down okay so xyz when people give you coordinates of xyz they're telling you exactly within minecraft where something is located and the way you find it is by just walking in direction and watching your coordinates adjust and if you're getting further away from the numbers, then you're going the wrong way. If you're starting to get closer, you're going the right way. And you can follow those coordinates, you know, east, west, north, south, with your x, z coordinates. And you can use your y in a direction in case it's a situation where you have to go up or down. This is especially important when it comes to a situation of where you're trying to find specific ores. Because um, ores generate at different levels within Minecraft, right? Like diamond. You most likely find it in deep slate, you know, close to like negative 52, negative 53, you know, that's a pretty good area. So you have to go down pretty deep, right? And that's where you're going to want to use your Y axis, because you can start digging down. And once that starts to say, you know, negative 52, negative 53, whatever, then you know you're at the right level for finding diamond. That's why it's important to know how, what the XYZ is and knowing how to work with it, right? It's pretty cool stuff, right? Minecraft has got a lot of interesting things in it. Probably one of the reasons why it's so popular, right? It's pretty epic. But yeah, there you go. So, um, now you know what X, Y, and Z is in Minecraft.